What's up, everybody out there? It's me, Iggly Biggly Beak. It's Robert Randolph here with you guys, hanging out. Noon time. Hope you had your coffee and your lunch and your whiskey and your bourbon and your frappuccino and everything else. Good to see you guys. Want to make some announcements? The vinyl will be available on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles, uh, Barnes and Noble music stores, indie retailers. I'll post the links for all y'all, um, uh, for all your retailers and everybody here. We're going to, it's going to be an awesome week, awesome year, great music, new music, seeing all you beautiful people on tour, on the road, signing autographs with all the whole family band and everybody here. When you buy the vinyl, when you buy the vinyl or the CD at select record indie stores, you actually get a free poster. Uh, you get a free poster you can bring to the shows with you. Um, we'll sign them, get all the whole family band, all my cousins, my sister, everybody here. So you get this free wonderful poster and I'm sure you'll get something else soon. Such a cool shot, ain't it? The photographer was really good catching that shot. I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know why I was feeling the moment right there. That's kind of really cool. I must have actually really been playing something. Forgot. Some of y'all had a good Valentine's Day out there. <laughs> something like that so y'all feeling good uh, so yeah we're going to talk about the new record um, can I unbox it yet or let's see uh, let me let me check out this cool new vinyl this is the vinyl it's so cool so cool looking got all of the different tracks on here uh, let's see uh, 180 gram vinyl download card included, which I don't even know what that is, but it's something cool. <laughs> uh, featuring uh, Love Do What It Do with Darius Rucker, uh, the great Darius Rucker. You know, I really, it was really a pleasure to have him. I've been knowing Darius Rucker for, for probably 10, 15 years, hanging out in Nashville and talking SEC football because you know, the Alabama Tide are better than his Gamecocks, but we ain't going to talk about that right now. We don't want to get to, we don't want to start talking smack just yet. Don't worry, you Gamecocks fans. It was all Steve Spurrier's fault. He ruined that school for a little bit. He too old and outdated. But, uh, yeah, so we got all the songs. Got Soul, which was the, uh, probably the first song. The reason it's number one on here, actually, it was the first song that, we kind of wrote for this record uh, that I had this kind of riff going for a long time. It's funny because I got the, the first version uh, of it on my iPhone when we were backstage kind of playing around and the chorus came and the riff and all that. Then it goes into She Got Soul, which is a uh, uh, sort of those two songs run together, sort of like a snippet from a Pentecostal church service featuring the great soul R&B singer Anthony Hamilton. For those of y'all who don't know Anthony Hamilton, you're going to get a chance to listen to him. He 
here. For those of y'all who all know him, he's been around for a long time, uh, made a lot of great songs. Uh, I've been knowing him for a long time as well. So it was great this time to really have uh, all of my friends that we connect with. So we'll be able to feature, have these guys on the road with us at some of the festivals, doing some TV shows, some special cool Facebook Live for you folks. Uh, so it starts off with those two. Then it goes into Love Do What It Do, which makes you feel good. And the song, Shake It Off, uh, Shake It, is such a funky, cool, sort of Sly and the Family Stone meets Hendrix meets Robert Randolph and the Family Band. Um, uh, then it goes into I Thank You, which is an old cover of an old Sam and Dave song. Uh, and I thought it would be very cool to sort of re, sort of uh, uh, bring that image with me and the, the master of the organ keyboard, Mr. Corey Henry, and the Funk Apostles. Uh, well, not the Funk Apostles on this song, but uh, uh, Mr. Corey Henry is singing and playing. We're doing like a singing and vocal playing duo, guitar versus organ. And it's, I mean, that's a pretty energetic, you know, first couple of songs. Then it goes into Heaven's Calling, which is this great instrumental swirling. It was actually, you know, that song wasn't actually meant to be. I, they just, I was in the studio just playing around, and, and I noticed everybody sort of standing behind me, and I didn't even realize what was going on. They were just like, what, what was that? What was that you were playing? And uh, Marcus actually said, man, it sounds like Heaven's Calling. I said, oh, that sounds like something. Then you go to side B. Uh, oh, actually, look at that. Actually, this is my first time seeing some of this, folks, so. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, cool shots, man. This photographer, who's that? Sam Erickson, right? I forgot. He's a great photographer. Sam Erickson, ladies and gentlemen. He also did the video um, that we did. Uh, Let's see what else is in this vinyl. Oh, look what we got here. They made me take my shirt off. Because <laughs> I told them I was getting in shape and going to fitness classes and stuff. So they caught me while I was changing and the photographer was shooting. So kind of makes you feel like, kind of like an old sort of, African wood shot, man, being out in the woods of Africa somewhere. This old soul thing. By the way, people, do not bring this with me to sign. <laughs> with my naked bare chest out and stuff. But actually, what's cool about this is on the back, you got all the lyrics of the songs that were written. This is pretty cool. You get to see where... Uh, not only the music makes you move, it makes you feel good, but how these lyrics all, it's so weird how it relates to these songs and the lyrics all relate to this sort of time we're at. We're, we're sort of crossing a new, as a, as a world, as a country, as people, as black, white, brown, we're all crossing into the new battles of life. Everybody's all freaked out, but this is how you cross over. To. And this record is to help you cross over, help you feel good, help you make it on, help you move on. When you think all oh, hope is lost, oh, let me start preaching on the guitar now. See, when you feel like all oh, hope is gone, and you got nowhere to go, When you feel like all hope is gone, just reach down and touch your soul. And you say, she got soul. She got soul.
I got caught up for a second, y'all. Don't worry about me. So anyway, so yeah, it goes into all the rest of the lyrics of the songs. Uh, such a cool package. And let's see. This is actually what the record looks like here. The records are so cool, man. Side A, side B. For those of y'all who don't have record players, you really need to get one. It's the ultimate, you know, uh, uh, just unwind and relax you home. You got your friends over. You have dinner. You have a little wine, a little whiskey or something, a little bourbon, or your water if you want to drink water for some of you uh, uh, extra holy, uh, clean folks. Uh, but you should be drinking wine because it's better for you. So... Uh, wine has all the anti antioxidants, helps you, it kills cholesterol. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. So if you got a cholesterol problem, better get some wine in your diet. Uh, uh, but here you go anyway, you got the vinyl. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Uh, and let's see. Oh yeah, we got tour dates coming, y'all, next uh, next month, um, I gotta look. I gotta see a schedule. On <laughs> but I believe it starts in Boston. Uh, I believe March the the, uh, the the ninth starts in Boston on March the ninth. The Got Soul tour uh, will be out with a bunch of people this summer and the spring um, with Galactic and so many other great artists and festivals and. On tour, a whole brand new show, set lists, songs, uh, sounds, funk, energy, soul, rock, blues. Uh, um, it's really going to make you feel better about life. It's going to be a great time. I'm just excited. This is an exciting time for us. Uh, uh, anybody got any questions out there? You could ask any questions you want. I'm interrupting your lunch time, so you better answer some questions. Uh, where do I see the questions at? Are they around here anywhere? Let's see. Um, what's your chance? <laughs> Somebody said, What's your <laughs> Who said? <that? laughs> funny, man. Some of these questions are funny. Let's see. Some of y'all comments are hilarious. <laughs> so my favorite song on this record, I would say, man, it's a, it's pretty rough. I would say, uh, man, I don't know, man, because God's Soul is always my favorite. It's always one of my favorites. Love Do What It Do is great. I want it. I want it might be, it's a, it's a great sleeper, it's funky, it's got all these different transitions, uh, featuring a great guitar player, Eric Gales, who just sat in on in a session with us and the whole band, and he was just getting down, it was kind of guitar duo. Uh, I wrote that song, actually, me, Eric Krasnow, and Mark Roberge, the late, lead singer of OAR, uh, collaborated on that song in different elements and parts. Uh, it was great. Uh, um, what else? This is missing. Oh, the traveling Chiba man. <laughs> the traveling Chiba man on side B is also a great rocking uh, instrumental. Uh, tells a story of riding through the, the great state of Colorado. It's actually when we wrote this song, kind of collaborative on the bus, riding through Colorado. Some of you great Colorado people know about the Chiba, the Chiba Chew Man. And we actually saw a guy hitchhiking who asked us, hey man, uh, can you guys pick me up, man? I'll give you guys some of these Chibas. And we said, well, what is a Chiba, man? What are you talking about over there, man? What, what do you got? So, it inspired this song, The Traveling Chiba Man. Found out that these traveling, the, these Chibas have been curing insomnia and sickness and, and uh, anxiety and all kind of whatnot. So it's great 
to have that. So that's a great instrumental. We actually kill that one live too. We've been playing that one. Gonna Be Alright is actually one of my favorites. Uh, it's actually a song I had on my computer for about probably eight, nine years. And uh, my cousin Lil Stevie is singing on that song. Uh, he actually really killed it. It's a soulful song. Uh, it really tells a story about, and that's why we end the record with that. When you see it, it says, it's going to be all right. Let you know, in the midst of all our uh, uh, partying and rock and roll and going to festivals and <clears throat> the DJs and all of that, Everybody worrying about Hillary or Trump and this and that and people arguing on Facebook and people losing friends and whatnot over arguing about what the president's going to do. I come to let you know that it's going to be all right. <laughs> um, what Mark asks, okay, Mark, Mark asks, what inspires me to play? Man, you know, what really inspires me to play is really all the depression that's going around, man. So many people are down. So many people really are depressed. And even if I may get a little down, once I start playing, all of that sort of leaves. Tour guest artists. Um, I'm not sure who we're gonna have on our, as, our, as our tour guest artists yet, but I'm sure you'll see a bunch of these people come out. I'm sure you'll see Darius at some of the shows. I'm sure you'll see Anthony Hamilton at some of the shows. I'm sure Corey Henry will come out. Uh, even though he's, he probably plays like 30 shows a month. Um, um, I think this young lady is going to come give me a battery because my amp is going dead. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, you know, I got the, the, the whole family band, uh, my sister, my cousins, uh, great singers. So it's really actually this soulful rock and roll new sort of inspired experience that We've been doing guitars are screaming, everybody's going at it great, the band is playing great, we're at a great point, everybody's locked in and loaded and musically arguing on stage, but it's beautifully, uh, it's beautiful and uh, yeah, so it's going to be an awesome time. So we'll see you guys on tour. Any more questions? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you should all get the vinyl at your local record store. You can get it Barn Barnes & Noble. Oh, when is that, today or on that Friday? Friday. <laughs> get it at your local record stores. The vinyl is cool. You don't want to not have this vinyl. Let me see. I may go over to, to I've got a little uh, 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 turntable over here where I may spin right quick. I know I'm better than Quest Love on DJ. <laughs> So let's check it out and see what we got over here. The lighting may be a little up. So let's see what we got, all you wonderful people out there. Let's spin some vinyl stuff. Is this thing on? Oh, I think so. Oh, 